springtime here. Uh, we're just doing some brewing and uh, chickens and working on a couple projects. So we're going to head in inside the old shop here and I'm going to show you a few things. Wilderness Freak 81. What we're doing today, we're getting out of the rain. We're using a little Appalachian Ingenuity and found this hatchet. It's nice, it's great for the value. I got it for $12. They run a special. And what it is, it's your own personalized tomahawk. You can use something, uh, maybe not have your own hand forged tomahawk, maybe you don't have the resources to go out and forge, or you're not quite certain on all them skills, so I'm showing you a way to make a very nice hatchet for low cost and low equipment. What I was doing was using the belt sander, I took this drywall hatchet and it's a gold black hickory handle and you'll find them basically anywhere Lowe's, Home Depot, stores like that and what I did was they come with a round head on them which ain't very tomahawk like it's just totally pan headed round and really out there so I ground it flat like that and I ground the tip basically flat with rounded on the edges and round and straight on these two sides to make a nice head and I had to flatten that so you can hammer nice with it. Uh, all I did was use the belt sander. Um, that's all you need. Uh, you can sharpen knives, you can sharpen axes, anything with a belt sander and this particular hatchet um, I just took the belt sander across here and it almost looks like it's hand forged with all the ripples and skips in the metal when that sander goes across it shows all the imperfections that you'd have in like a hand forged hatchet hand forged tomahawk and the advantage to this one is we can also use our nails and pull nails with the end on there like that. It's also an advantage of how light it is. And I'm going to show you a few modifications to the handle and how we're going to make this hatchet a little nicer here. So stick with it. Okay, you just get yourself a good 120 grit sandpaper. Uh, this is pretty fast sandpaper I got here. You can see I just ran it a couple times, but you get a good sandpaper. That name will come right off. You'll be down way past the polyurethane thing they put on it. And I did take a little bit off that end just to make it look nice and homemade. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this wood burner and we're going to do a little bit of uh, creativity. You can basically do anything you want. Um, I'm going to take a look at it here. This looks like a good area to start. Just hold that on there. Make sure it's marking both sides. So now, say you want to make a uh, Indian arrowhead. Just continue that down. So 
see how the tip basically works for you and you just follow it pull it on there you'll see it get black along the edge pull it down a little alright we finished the wood burning and I didn't make it more realistic is <coughs> I uh, took my utility knife and just nicked out areas that would have been napped like when they napped the flint. So I just made a nice arrowhead there. Uh, a little tip, a couple things you can do when you're wood burning. But that all looked pretty good now. We're going to stain it. So I got English chestnut and I'm trying to make this as uh, nice as possible here so we'll just stain the whole thing make it a nice chestnut handle I like min wax, it works pretty good. It coats nice and it, it actually seals it uh, more than other stains do. So if you want to just finish it off with oil, you can do that. You don't need polyurethane. Um, but this stain's nice. So, you know, just a regular old stain, you're, you're not in a walnut dime or whatever. This here does a good job. And all we have to do to finish this up is we're going to try staying the head of this axe. So here we go. That'll just darken it. It's not like it stays perfectly on there but uh, we're just darkening the metal so that it just don't look like we made it today Nothing to it. I hope you guys like this as much as I do. But here we go. It's a mountain man tomahawk made by just everyday Appalachians. Just kind of how we do it. <laughs>